Hello, I'm Robin Mitchell and this is Maker.io. In today's video, we're going to be looking at alternative uses for cloud storage. Now, in two previous videos, we looked at serial and parallel memories and how they can be used to store information. But if you're designing a commercial product, you want to try and keep the part count and the cost as low as possible. So if you're finding that you're having to store a lot of information locally in non-volatile memory, you might find that maybe there's a better way of doing it. Now, if your project is internet capable, you could actually look at the internet for data storage. So one example of online data storage that your project could utilize would be things like Google Drive, which, which can actually hold up to 15 gigabytes for free of uh, any information you want, whether it's basically things like Word documents or audio files or MP3s. But you could take advantage of these to eliminate the need for non-volatile storage in your project. Now, of course, you will need to keep some uh, information local to your device, such as Wi-Fi passwords and keys and stuff, because you do need to be able to connect. But once you're connected to the internet, you have the internet at your fingertips. So it's not such an, uh, uh, so it's not such a daft idea to use cloud storage for your project. So for example, you could store user preferences that when your device boots up and connects to the network, it can then access the online storage for all the information it needs for your user, such as the temperature they want of the house, or maybe it's something like the, the way that they like the lights on. And you can use online storage so that you can take it off local storage so you don't need to put chips on and increase the cost of your product. You could also think about using uh, audio files online. So instead of having to store large files offline, such as uh, interface options. So you know when you click a button on a, on a user interface, it might make a sound or something. So you could store that uh, online, download it when you need it, then store it in RAM, which could be internally, internal to the microchip or your microcontroller. And then you could play that sound like that. And if you're really feeling out there, you could even use online storage to store executable code. So for example, your uh, product is nothing more than just off an empty shell like an Arduino with a bootloader. So it turns on, connects to the Wi-Fi, and then it can get all its updates online or the programs it needs to execute online. Downloads them into RAM without having to keep them off chip. And then from there, it can execute the code. Now using the cloud as a memory storage option does give the advantage of reducing the size of your product. The uh, weight of it is gonna be the lower cost because you're not having to use non-volatile memory if you need that much storage. But there are some very big disadvantages that you may need to consider. Now, the first one I can think of immediately pops to mind is security. If you store executable code that your uh, device downloads daily or whenever it connects to the network to run, well, if an attacker can intercept that communication or if an attacker can put their own code on a web server that the uh, device access for downloading, then suddenly you've got a serious, uh, serious security breach. And another major disadvantage would be that if there's no Wi-Fi, your device doesn't work because what's it gonna do? All this information is online and if there's no network access, then it can't simply access any of that information. So a home automation system might be quite useless if it finds itself having to go online for cloud storage. But cloud storage doesn't necessarily have to be online. It just needs to be off the device on a network and the network could be local. So a local server in a home could hold all the files for your product. And from there, it can just simply access the local network for those files. So it doesn't matter if there's no internet access, the system can still run and you can use very relatively cheap um, memory storage such as uh, solid state drives and uh, the uh, good old classic uh, hard, hard drive platters, which can be on a local server, much more cheaper and much bigger. So when it comes to cloud storage, do remember that there are some great advantages such as reducing the size of your project, as well as being able to store more information using the network so you can stream large amounts of information from your device. But also bear in mind that there are some serious disadvantages depending on how you set up your project. If you want to use things like remote executable code, of course it gives you the option of um, very easily uh, applied updates. But of course the downside is if an attacker can get a hold of that web server or direct the traffic to his own server, then suddenly he can upload any code he wants. So do take it with a pinch of salt. So thank you for watching this video and see you next time.